Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan Tran and I'm a newly licensed doctor here in the Philippines. And if you want to become a doctor, there is one exam that you have to take in order to enroll in a medical school here in the country. And that is the National Medical Admission Test, also known as the NMAT. And one of the subjects that people don't really like is physics. Because let's face it, most pre-meds really don't like the concepts that are taught in physics. Most of the time, they seem abstract, and most teachers really uh, make the subject a bit boring. So, my task here today is to dissect a question that could appear in the National Medical Admission Test. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here's a classic question. You know? So, we have a ball that's thrown vertically upward. Which of the following is true about the movement of the ball? So there's a ball, right? And it's thrown upward, right? So there's a ball, starts there, moves just vertically, right? And the question is, which of the following is true about the movement of the ball? Let's take a look at the velocity time graph of this particular ball. Okay. So here's a velocity time graph. So let's say that the ball has an initial velocity of 1 meter per second. That's pretty fast, but let's use it for illustration purposes. So it starts with uh, an initial velocity of 1 meter per second. okay, And then the force of gravity is always going to be acting upon it, which means that as it's thrown, right, the force of gravity would cause it to slow down. So it's slowing down, so that means the velocity would be decreasing, right? And the force of gravity uh, gives it an acceleration at a constant rate. And that acceleration near the surface of the Earth is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay? So we have the velocity, right, going down, okay, at a constant rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. So it's negative. The negative sign just implies that it's moving downward, right? The force of gravity acts downward. So it's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. This is also the slope of the line, which is also the acceleration. Okay? That's the acceleration of the ball due to gravity. Now, at the peak of its height, right? So V peak, the velocity is going to be zero. And that coincides with this portion in the graph. So that's going to be the maximum height of the ball. Okay? And after it reaches its uh its maximum height, the velocity now is going to be negative, right? It's going to be negative because it's going to be pointing downwards. Right? It's going to be going down. So as we can see in the velocity time graph, it's going to be going down. So this is how you can analyze a velocity time graph as well. Now let's take a look at the choices. Right? So the acceleration of the ball okay, changes by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We know that this is not true because the acceleration of the ball is constant. Right? It doesn't change. It's constant constant at 9.8 meters per second squared. Therefore, choice D is also incorrect because the velocity of the ball changes by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So you actually interchanged the two choices. Right? This is going to be uh, changes by. Okay, now let's take a look at choices B and C. Okay. The velocity of the ball is zero at its maximum height, or is the acceleration of the ball zero at its maximum height? As we mentioned here, right, the velocity of the ball at its maximum height is zero. Okay? So this is the correct answer. The correct answer is letter B. The acceleration of the ball is not zero at maximum height. In fact, it's always negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And therefore, our answer is letter B. So when you're trying to review for the NMAT or any exam that is multiple choice, 
you have to not only understand why the answer is, in this case, letter B, but you also have to understand why the other choices are incorrect. Okay? Why the other choices are incorrect. Because it will help you understand the concepts better. And it will help you answer a similar question in the future. And that's it for now. Uh, I'll be posting more question, uh, more videos like this if this kind of format uh, picks up steam. No, I know that the end mat would be held uh, somewhat soon. I think in January. So I hope this video would help you guys preparing for that exam.